Now tell me, this is two games that I played with my friend Apu. Um, I'm playing it a bit fast at the moment so we can get to the action. Um, in this game I don't do particularly well because rather than using Skype to talk we're using the in-game thing which is pressing Q to talk and unfortunately while pressing Q I can't steer my tank that well. Uh, but this is a game where we played and as I said I did pretty badly because I managed to switch over to uh, high explosive rounds not meaning to uh, halfway through the match and so took a lot more damage from a tank than I need to but my teammate Apu uh, he does really well in this uh, as I said we're talking he we're talking on uh, chat uh, and he isn't very good he's new he's new at this um, so he's always asking my advice on what to do and in this game that's my first kill nice shot I thought but never mind <laughs> he's telling me there's someone I can hit around here because he knows that I'm in a heavier tank I just said I just hit someone I just took him straight out of the match that's what a KV1S does one shot splat like that but yeah he asked my advice later on and in a little bit they're going to start capping and we've got no one anywhere near it and I tell him you're going to have to go through all those tanks you just have to speed by them and get to the cap circle and stop the cap and it turns out there's two tanks in the cap circle and on his own he goes round and puts a round into both of them giving us time to get round there ourselves there you go he's just ammo racked someone that's the first time he'd ever ammo racked anyone he was well chuffed with that and I don't blame him but um, yeah this is the first time he'd ever ammo racked someone good kill and as you saw as you see they've started capping and I haven't really noticed it yet uh, I'm still concentrating on what's around here it's uh, when we get lots of kills it's when we get up here and they and they get to around to around about 25 that um, I start thinking oh this is a bit it's a bit nasty I just noticed we're being capped now that's not a problem someone will go and sort it out now I realise uh, any minute now that there's actually nobody anywhere near the cap circle. So yeah, it's about here that I start saying to him, "Look, go, turn, uh, go straight for the straight for the cap circle. Stop the cap." That's why he turned around there. I said, "No, don't turn around. Just go straight here. I know there's a bunch of tanks in your way, but you just have to speed past them and go and stop the cap. And you can watch him on the mini map. He just." Burn straight past these guys. Balls of steel. Straight past them. And while I try and deal with this tank here, he's going to stop the cap. I shouldn't have dealt with this tank. I should have just... I clipped him. I should have just uh, followed him and gone straight for stopping the cap. But he's dealing with enough tanks there. And it, as you can see now, I'm on HP... Uh, HE rounds rather than armor piercing. I uh, some, somehow I've managed to move over to high explosive rounds, which are just not doing the damage. And I haven't noticed this. That shot should have killed it, but instead it did 99. So I'm absolutely an I'm so annoyed with this. I ram him to do that, and in one more round, but someone else fires at the same time and gets the kill. Not a problem. As you can see, he's round there now. And watch this. He's just stopped the first cap. He's paused the cap, and now he's stopped it altogether. And now I tell him, just get out of there. You've got a medium and a heavy. You haven't got a chance against both of them. However, we'll be round there in a minute, and we'll annihilate them. I'm still on high explosive rounds, because I haven't noticed. But, I mean, he was heroic in this. He sped round me, went past all those tanks, and he managed to stop the cap with two straight shots. And there you go, he's just hit that KV-1. <laughs> and someone's ammo racked the KV-1. But if you watch, he takes a few hits here, because that medium's sneaking up behind him. There 
way out. And that's it. Everyone's taken out. We've won the match. Now, if you look at the clock, we would have lost that if it wasn't for him doing that. So I was really proud of him in that match. Okay, after the success Time of the, that first match, we decided to stick with the uh, KV-1S and and him and his Cromwell and uh, do the and we got this level and this is a match which was a first for me because I got a medal in this that I've never managed to get before mainly because I drive heavy tanks and you shouldn't be able to get it in this but if you watch now I'm up the front I've told him because he's in a medium not in a light tank to stay behind me but everybody else has just left me to go forward and going forward is fine but but it does mean you're going to hit everything first and in this match I managed to get a scouting medal which is something I've never got before and I don't think I'll ever get again good strong hit there by uh, Apu another good strong hit by him doing a hell of a lot better than I am at shooting but in this game I get I do much better on the uh, I do much better on the spotting than I do on the uh, damage myself. I said I managed to finish him off there, but that was just lucky. So I'm uh, rolling on forward. So far I've spotted two tanks. You need to spot nine to get this medal, and I think I get exactly nine. And I've spotted those four. So that's six straight away. And you'll notice, although I'm taking hits, I'm not taking much damage. And that was a rush shot. Even if I, ha even if that caravan hadn't been in the way, I'd have probably missed that Stuart anyway. But I wanted to take him. And there's another two spots. That's eight. Unfortunately, that was again me talking and trying to steer my tank, which is why I s it looks like I lost control there. It looks like I lost control because I lost control because I was trying to press Q and steer my tank and I ended up uh, hitting the wrong button. Uh, as I said, from this point on, after this day, I don't think I ever used the Q button in a match again. I stick to Skyping people. But, uh, yeah, going on, f carrying on forward, as you can see, not doing amazingly well hits wise but but my spotting for this is incredible it's still going forward but still doing it slowly enough to allow me to take the lead right behind that rock over there is a scout he's hidden away god knows what he was doing it's a major fail for him because the fact is he should have been scouting for his team and what actually happens is we spot him about now. And I've spotted him, but I allow the Stug to have the to have the kill if he wants it. And he fires and he misses. So I put that much into him, leave him with four health, and he suicides himself. Again, there's another spot. The grill. Now, I haven't noticed it, but my uh, my gunner's dead. And that would be why I couldn't zoom in on the grill. And he would have done me a hell of a lot of damage there if it hadn't been for the fact that someone else killed him. So, you could argue that that kill was stolen from me, but I would say it w that my ass was saved by, by that one. And, as I said, they've got one tank left. And he's he's gonna die. We've won this one, and although I've got one kill and that's it, and Apu has got none, he got one in the last match, but just none in this one. That this is a really really good match for me. And he's still alive. He's still alive. Can we make it to the cap circle? Get some extra points. 
Now he's on the map, it's unlikely, especially with that heavy there. He's got 17 health left and he's dead. Not going to make it to the cap circle. Oh well. And that was that.